Hi everyone, welcome back. It's a very pleasant afternoon, at least for my taste. For those of you that were really looking forward to August bringing those warmer 90 degree temperatures, and I know there's some of you out there we probably won't see that, at least not for next week. The rest of this weekend, I can promise you a pleasant experience, very refreshing and mild. And if you didn't get a chance to cut the grass today, you can wait till tomorrow. Take a look at your temperatures right now. We're very mild across the valley. I mean, look at this, 82 in Terre Haute. Paris hasn't even cracked 80 yet. They're at 79, 83 in Robinson, and 81 in Linton. And this really cool feeling that we've got going on is coming from this northern breeze and you can see it's coming out of the northeast right now in Terre Haute and it's bringing much cooler temperatures, not a whole lot of humidity. So it's just a pleasant afternoon. I expect that to continue for tomorrow. So if you didn't get a chance to go for a walk today or go looking at yard sales, hopefully there'll be some for tomorrow because tomorrow is also equally pleasant. It's five miles an hour northeast in Robinson. In the meantime, on the storm tracker, clear all across the Wabash Valley. It looks like here in Sullivan, there's a little bit of a pop up shower, but I anticipate all of this moving out within the next uh, couple hours or so because this low pressure system that brought some of those pop up showers earlier today, you can see that's well past uh, Ohio almost into Pennsylvania. So you can see we've got an area of high pressure right here that's going to keep it pretty stable here in terms of temperature and cool feelings for the next couple days. So let's get right to it, huh? We'll move right on in, take a look. Start you out at 8 o'clock tonight. You can see there's still a chance to see some pop up showers. That was what the future cast was saying. I don't anticipate that, but we'll keep it in there for right now. In the meantime, for tomorrow, you wake up for your morning worship services. It's going to be a little chilly as we get into tonight. It's going to drop down to the 60s by tomorrow morning, the upper 50s. So an unseasonably cool summer and another unseasonably cool day. What are we looking at? Well, 60 degrees for 6 a.m. And by the time you get around to lunchtime tomorrow, 77 degrees is going to be what we'll warm up to. So about 17 degree difference between when you wake up and when you get to noon. But I promise it won't be an unpleasant day. That north breeze is going to keep a cool temperature and a cool feel about it. Take a look at your Sunday evening. The high for tomorrow, mid, mid 80s, about 84 degrees is what we're looking at. North wind keeping it very cool and calm. A little bit of a chance for showers, but that is to our north. And as you can see, it's going to stay up there and not come down near us. For your work week, we start out with a very pleasant day on Monday and around 60 degrees when you wake up. Lindsay Monroe will tell you all about it. The northeast breeze pushing along another pleasant and mild day. But by the time we get into Monday afternoon, mid 80s, a chance for showers to our north. And then that low pressure system moves in and we see a chance for showers just about every other day of the week. But in the meantime, let's enjoy the rest of this weekend. 59 degrees, cool and pleasant with a clearing sky. We take a look at tomorrow, 84 degrees, sunny and mild. That northeast, that northeast breeze and the north breeze just makes it feel so much better, doesn't it? It's going to be pleasant from here on till Tuesday. 60 degrees tomorrow night, mild and cool. And then here's what I'm talking about with your seven day. By the time we get to Tuesday, as it warms up past 85, we see a chance for showers and thunderstorms. A 20% chance on Tuesday, 30% on Wednesday, 50% on Thursday and Friday. It looks like once we get to the mid 80s, Patsy, we got a chance for some of those showers and thunderstorms to stay in the picture.